Welcome back. A lot of people have been talking about this on social media. Take a look. You might have seen this sign on Facebook. It says designated panhandling area. Well, this was taken near I-80 at Keystone in Reno. To find out more, we spoke to the city of Reno, and they told us this was definitely a prank and not something they put up. But it begs the question, is panhandling legal? Jamie Hayes answers that question. Some of the things that they can do, um, they can sit in an area where they can be sitting, such as on the arch or, or a public place with a sign um, saying they need help or something like that. What they can't do is ask for any kind of goods or property, any money, anything like that. Panhandling laws are a lot more complicated than just legal or not. As much as asking for a cigarette or asking for some food is illegal. Panhandlers have to be at least 25 feet away from buildings, an ATM, and even bus stops, and they cannot be blocking foot traffic. Sitting on the sidewalk, um, you could stand on the sidewalk, you can't obstruct it though, so if you have a bunch of belongings and stuff blocking the sidewalk, and then that'll be illegal. Now, people are allowed to be on off-ramps or sidewalks, as long as they are not blocking traffic. But the second they step into a road to grab money or food, then it becomes illegal. That would be considered conducting business in a roadway, which is against the law. And it turns out in some cases, even the driver can get cited. Stop and wait for the person to come and they cause a traffic problem, they can be cited for that as well. They actually want to have a better future and so we're here to help them make that happen. Hand handling is not the answer to solving homelessness. Um, handouts of any kind are really not the answer. The answer is programs like this. Volunteers of America have been working hard to keep individuals who are currently panhandling have a better life by working with them to help them find jobs and a place to live. Covering the story, Jamie Hayes, Channel 2 News. And we posted on Facebook asking what you think about this photo and here's what some of you had to say. Kayla Lee Stinson writes, let them panhandle. Does it really bother you that much if it takes a couple of extra seconds for someone to give away money? Meanwhile, Terry Pedersen commented, people who can stand outside and beg can go inside and get a job. If you'd like to join the conversation, head over to Facebook or check the online version of this story at KTVN.com.